Hey everybody, Cloudy420 here, and we are back striking signatures time. Hell yeah, I got off work, got home, looked on eBay, got jealous of everybody with a bunch of boxes of it, and I was like, I'm going down the store, I bet you he's got some. Lo and behold, he said they came in an hour ago, here they are, he stacked them up, I took all four he had, said there was a limit on them so he could only get four from one uh, dealer and four from another, so I'll be hitting the bay for a few more. Probably only going to get like 12 boxes of these, see what happens. I don't know if they're worth it or not. What I've seen online is pretty high prices, of course, for uh, the cards, but they just came out. So that probably drop a little bit. These bo And I got these boxes cheaper than they were on eBay, so I'm happy with it. In the UFC, what did we have? We had uh, Khabib and Gaethje since the last time I was on here, and oh my god, Khabib just wrecked poor Gaethje. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Khabib is monstrous. I'm just, I don't know. That damn Dakistani rest, wrestling is something. To give you an idea, I'm just doing off the, this off the top of my head here, but I think there's about 2,000-something people in Khabib's Dakistan village, and like nine of them are world champions. Like It's just insane what they're doing over there. And then at the end, he re says he retires... And I'm almost shed a tear. I'm not even a Khabib fan. I almost shed a tear over that. And I was like, pull your shit together. You're a grown ass man. So I did. And then he says like a day later, he's going to go to 30. So it made me a little happier. So he's probably going to whoop my boys Connor's ass again. Or it's got to be George. <clears throat> Which if that fight happens, please let it happen now. Let's not wait. What are you going to do, next July or some shit, and George will be like damn near 40 years old? Come on. Get that shit together. And then um, then we had Izzy go up. He's going to fight Jan. That is insane. And he said, I wrote on Twitter, I was like, Izzy, are you even going to be 205 on the scale? Like, that's insane. He didn't write me back, but then I saw him post. He's not that, He's not gaining weight at all. He's not even going to try to bulk up. And basically calls John Jones a pussy and says, I'm going to do in three years or two years what you haven't been able to do in like 10. Slap in the face. So he's going to, I don't know, he's going to have a huge speed advantage. That's for sure. Jan's pretty slow, but hits like a truck. So is he going to be dancing? I mean, you may be running, dancing, doing whatever, but those leg kicks are still going to hurt Jan. I don't give a shit who you are. Those are going to hurt. And then, uh, what else do we have? We had Anderson fight Araya. And then Anderson, I didn't want to see Anderson go out there like that, but I pretty much knew he was. They were setting Araya up to be the next big thing. Like, he's got the style to fight a uh, style bender. He goes out and throws, like, 11 punches. Like, the whole fight. He, I know he won the fight. I'm not trying to take much away from Araya, but he's just, he's just so gun-shy. What the fuck is, like... You are amazing. <laughs> Let those fucking hands go. And then at the end, he retires, and Rai goes over, and he's like crying on his shoulder and shit, and I almost shed a tear again. Two weeks in a row, over UFC. Almost shed a tear. Had to pull my shit together. You're a grown-ass man. Get it together. Anyway, other than that, we don't got much going on. Let's get into these. Sorry for babbling. Been a long time. I'm sick of this shit. We got some Nate Diaz, Nick Diaz going back in the background here. Display my boys today. One card. This should not take long. Let's see. We got we got a color right off the bat. Ashley Evans Smith numbered two fifty. Let's get this out. Announce the box. One card. One encased card. A nice little one touch. Nice looking card. I like the design. This will be eBay. So, first pull, eBay, Ashley Evans Smith, you guys like that? Really nice card, I'm not going to take anything away from that. I like her too, she's actually pretty cool. But that's box one. Let's do box two. Give me Izzy. I have 2000, I've bought 2020 Knockouts, 2020 brand new series, lots of, I've spent so much money trying to get an Izzy Auto, it's just not having it. And next, another for eBay. Mark to 621. Wow, this got signed a lot. 
this guy is actually Eric Honors. He's actually answered me a few times on Twitter. It's very social. If you guys want to check him out on Twitter, go follow him up. He uh, he usually answers. Eric Honors. Mark two six twenty one. So eBay, check these out. This will be up on the next round. And once I'm done all the striking signatures, I'll be done for a while until the next series. I'll have order. I'm gonna order a new box of 2020 tops uh, UFC tonight, though the flagship series. So I'll have that to open, and then probably another eight boxes of these. So these are just. Uh, or no. I mean, it's not much fun opening these, you won't be honest. <laughs> There's not much to look at, and basically these are just, unless you hit big, you're losing money. Okay, so, unless you are a big-time collector, I wouldn't really even consider trying these, because I look today, because some guy on my, on my channel asked me what the Izzy rookie card sold for, and I didn't sell it, and I wasn't sure what it was worth anymore so i checked it out and when i first got it, it was worth it was 56 bucks i looked today and somebody sold there's a bunch of them actually sold for like a hundred dollars for the base rookie of izzy in 2018 museum and the 159 was between three and four hundred and multiple times <laughs> so that's what i'm saying you gotta get the izzy you gotta get izzy he's my boy no nope, that came out hard Still great. Curtis Blades. Oh, number 25. Looks exactly the same as the other one. The hell? Number 25. And it looks pretty similar to that. To me, I guess a little black in the background. The orange one, the 50, look way cooler. That's bullshit. Anyway, Curtis Blades. So, so far it looks like I'm going to have $200 worth of boxes here going on eBay. And I ain't getting shit. So, let's see what we got. Give me a great big fucking ruby. Let's go. Last box for now. And we got some color. Alright, Della Rocha. Submission Specialist. That will also be on eBay. So, this numbered? What's going on here? Yeah, that's numbered. We got 99. Numbered to 99, submission specialist, Della Rosa. Or Della Rocha. Forget how they say it. Well, there it is. There's the back. It, they look nice. I like the color cards i'm not too keen on the original but ebay there you go go through them one more time just show you chris de la rocha curtis blades to 25 i'm assuming maybe i might get a little bit back on that curtis blades eric anders the 621 which is insanely high. I'm sure that ain't going for much. Probably end up selling that for a buck or some shit. Anyway, Ashley Evans Smith, I do like this. This looks cool. Sick looking card. I like the orange. It's the best looking for me so far. Ashley Evans Smith. So all those will be on eBay. All of these will not. Those are my boys. Anyway, sorry, sorry to troll you a little bit there. Anyway, take care, everybody. Cloudsy420, I'm out. Peace.